what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i have another wig install for you so this wig is from you nice hair and i'm just unboxing it here in this clip it came with the wig cap this little baggie that came with some lashes some hair clips and a satin scarf i'm going to lay the wig so this is the hair they sent me a highlighted wig this is a 13 by 1 frontal wig it's very thick it's in the um, texture body wave and I already plucked and customized the um, wig off camera I bleached the knots all of that good stuff so here you see me tinting the lace now I tinted the lace with just a foundation that matches the shade of my skin tone. I did that by just um, putting the foundation on my hand and then putting it on a brush and brushing it onto the inside of the knots. Here I'm flattening out the wig with a hot comb. You're going to see me do this a lot. This is a key to a laid 13 by 1 frontal. You want it to be as flat as possible. So you're going to see me go over it with a hot comb multiple times. Now, as you guys can see, I'm just putting on my glue. I put two layers for this video, I believe. For this wig, I put two layers. Um, you're just gonna let it dry clear on the first layer and then put a second layer, smooth it out as soon as possible, let it dry clear again. Now you can't see, but I did put dots around my hairline where I wanted to lay the wig after I got the glue on. So it helps to measure it out at first so that when you pull your wig up, you know, you don't pull it up too far or you don't place it too far back. You know, I always do the glue like that. Make sure it matches the shape of the hairline. So yeah, now I'm just laying it with my scarf, going over it again with the hot comb. I told y'all I'm going to do that a lot. But yeah. <music> As you can see, I am now cutting the lace with a razor. So I now use a razor. I used to use the mini scissors. Um, there was nothing wrong with the mini scissors. I just feel like the razor is definitely easier. You know, just glides across smoothly. Okay, so baby hairs, baby hairs, baby hairs. I'm just mapping out pretty much where I want the baby hairs first. I'm not really worried about if it's too thick or if it's not. Like I'm just trying to make sure the shape is how I want it to be. Um, this took me forever, but yeah. You're gonna see me just cutting off the end, making it shorter. This isn't the final length I'm gonna have them, but I just do it so it's easier to mold. I'm now curling the baby hairs with the curling iron. That's how you get the nice little fluffy baby hair look. You know, get a nice curly baby hair. Um, I try to aim for the length of my eyebrow for the like, just a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. It depends if I want like dramatic baby hairs or not dramatic baby hairs. And then for the like sideburn, I basically do like either the bottom of my ear or the middle of my ear for like the length. But yeah, I'm just swooping them babies with some um, Eco Styler gel and then spraying it with the Even Lace Spray. And I'm going to lay it again. Now we're done with the install part and I'm going to be curling this wig on camera. So I basically sectioned my hair off into just pretty medium size um, pieces. I wouldn't say they were like super small or super big. They're just like medium size like you don't want to take too long but you want it to look nice um the size of this curling wand i believe is a 25 but i'm pretty much just gonna sit here and continuously section off the hair and curl it away from my face so yeah you guys are just gonna see this sped up i'm gonna show you guys how i did the top because i feel like sometimes i do want to know how people do the top of their hair like how they get it a certain way. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys that and then I'll come back.
right guys this is the end of the video this hair was from you nice hair thank you guys for sending me this wig um this wig was 24 inches it is a highlight wig i'll have it linked below in the description you can use my code my you nice for 10 percent off of your order so definitely check that out but yeah this is how the 13 by 1 came out i'm actually getting really good at this this is only like the third time i've done a 13 by 1 install so period but this cut let's get into the color because honest it's so pretty it's like it literally goes from like a black to a brown ombre so if you want an ombre but you don't want to do blonde you don't want to be this is a great fall color like a great fall vibe yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all in my next video peace